everyone. Welcome to another episode of CleaningBiz.TV. I'm Jean Hansen, your host, and today we have a guest, Teresa Thomas, who is the director of WIN, Women in Networking, which is an organization that I belong to. So thank you very much for doing this with me today. Thanks for having me. Okay. So Teresa and I wanted to talk about networking today because networking is one of the biggest things that I still talk about to our members and our audience because a lot of people f kind of forget about it. They think everything is all on the internet now, which is true but you still build relationships by networking with people in person. Mm -hmm. Now one of the things that I've struggled with and that I know a lot of you struggle with is what do you do when you arrive at a networking event? It's very uncomfortable and for the, even for the people that are extroverts, I mean it can still be uncomfortable no matter whether you're introverted, shy, or an extrovert. So can you share a few of your favorite tips? Sure, well absolutely. The first thing you need to know is you're not alone. Even me who I network sometimes three to five times a week, I still get nervous when I enter a room. So you're not alone. Um, the, so the things I would like to share with you are really simple and the first one is arrive early. If you arrive early, you're the one that people gravitate to talk to. So that helps right off the bat. Second, if you can at all possible have a role, that helps you to get to know more people and it gives you an easier entry and exit strategy. And, and just for me to comment on that really quickly, that is something that I did the very first time I had to network the director of that organization, she could tell right away that I was like totally out of my element and she put me to work right away. So she just took me by the hand and said, here, start spreading these out and then we need to take names. And, you know, it works. Definitely. Absolutely. So having that role. And you know what? Even when I don't officially have a role, my secret is I tell myself that my role is to be the goodwill ambassador for any event I go to and to help make sure it's a good experience for them. Um, third, when you enter a room, realize that nobody's looking and noticing that you're standing on your own for a while. Just take that time to take a deep breath and assess the room and look for those other people that are either on their own or that have open body language in their conversations or that are in groups of threes um, because groups of threes are easier to enter than groups of two. Right, yeah. And so that kind of leads me to what we wanted to talk about next. Teresa, we're going to do this little demonstration, and this is what Teresa calls the networking vortex. So it's how to approach a group of people that may be talking, because sometimes you're like, it's like, well, do I approach them, or maybe I look for a different group, or maybe I'm interrupting, and so it's very uncomfortable. So let's demonstrate that. So when you are trying to enter a group, the first thing you're wanting to look for is that open body language to help people enter. But you can provide that open body language for other people to be able to come into your conversation. And this is what it looks like. So say I'm talking to Jean. She might be one of those people that likes to square off with you and have our shoulders, you know, like this. But that's not very welcoming to the people that come to us because they assume that we're in a really tight conversation. I can do something that she probably won't even notice. And that is that I will just pivot slightly out and make sure that my arms aren't crossed so that when somebody comes by, we look more welcoming. And the next thing you can do is, well, first of all, Jean, she might want to keep squaring off with me. So, Jean, you keep squaring off with me. Look, I can keep doing the open, the open <laughs> vortex and we might end up doing a dance around the room, but she <laughs> won't even notice it. And I'm keeping this conversation circle open. So we've got this V with our body language and we're talking and somebody, I see somebody kind of walking this way and the person who's walking this way is probably thinking, oh no, who am I going to talk to next? I'm nervous. Well, we're going to make it easier for them and for us. So this person is walking by, we have the open V, they might come in on their own, but better yet, I can do this. Hey, come and join us. I was just meeting Jean and she was telling about the fabulous trainings that they do for their members and what's your name? Oh, and so two things are happening. The person that I just invited into our conversation is so relieved that they were invited in and Jean is thinking, thank goodness, I was wondering when Teresa was going to stop talking and how I was going to exit this conversation. So now I've got them talking, right? And I can keep doing that open language, body language, and bringing people in. And pretty soon we're dividing up into little groups of twos and meeting lots of people. So that little simple thing makes it more inviting for people to come in. And it also helps open up an exit strategy for the people that you're meeting with as well. 
All right. That was really cool because that is something that is so, so simple that most people don't even think about. So, I mean, and what, what I've seen Teresa do before too is she'll have a group of three people and then she brings in the fourth and then what happens? Well, then it's natural that we divide into two different pairs right. and then I keep doing that open body language and pretty soon I'm across the room and I've just met several people and along the way I've left a trail of very happy people that I helped to connect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Teresa has a book out and let me just reach behind you quick. And this is the book, um, it's a networking book called Win Win Connections. And this is a quick read, but this is amazing. I have read networking books before, and I, you know, you hear a lot of the same tips out there, but I don't think a lot of you have heard about this particular tip that she shared with you today. And she's got a whole book full of really great tips. There's even some worksheets in there that actually will help you with your networking. And so it's really wonderful. I'm really thrilled with the book. And we will put links below this video at cleaningbiz.tv so that uh, you can pick it up yourself. So any final tip that you'd like to share? Um, I, my final tip would be to just realize that you're not alone in this. Everybody gets nervous. Take that deep breath and just be really fully present and listen to the person that you're talking with and you'll have an easier time remembering names. You'll be less nervous. So just really be a good listener and, and you'll do great. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Teresa. Mm -hmm.